People around Pineda Point Marina who knew Peter Strong say he loved his boat and loved to fish. Marina technician Edgardo Plaza saw him often and just a few days ago. He would spend the early days of the week cleaning and polishing his boat, probably to use it on the weekend. And he looked pretty happy. Florida Fish and Wildlife says on Sunday afternoon, Peter Strong and a woman were caught in a severe thunderstorm on the Indian River just south of the marina. First responders got a 911 call about a boat struck by lightning. Brevard Fire and Rescue crews say Strong didn't survive the strike. The owner of the marina showed us that Strong's boat is currently stored behind this fence. There is no physical damage revealed, but what you'll notice is that there is no cover or canopy on top of his boat. This may have played a role in the lightning strike. I spoke with his best friend of 20 years, John Murray, off camera. He says Strong loved to fish and that they had just gone out fishing two days before his death. Murray says Strong was working towards becoming a captain. He leaves behind a 13-year-old daughter. This tragedy is a reminder of the dangers of lightning, especially with how quickly storms develop in Florida. What I really like to say is uh, for boaters, just to keep alert, keep aware that the weather it's changing constantly. So have an eye on that, and that will really save more boaters' life around, you know. Though powerboats like the one Strong drove don't often get hit by lightning due to their low profile, the risk is always there. Now, I also spoke with the owners about how common this is, and they have been running this marina for more than 30 years and have never seen anyone struck by lightning before. So it's always a present danger here in Florida, but something that they hope to not see happen anymore. And unfortunately here in Florida, we are very familiar with lightning strikes and it's a constant danger to boaters and to anyone outdoors. In Pineda, Ian Cassette, Fox 35 News. Ian.